Do you enjoy games more with limited hardware or not? Okay, so in order to understand what I'm trying to discuss on this video, first of all, originally I wanted to make Can You Enjoy Gaming with Limited Hardware? The problem with that is what we would consider as limited hardware. In today's world with the tech available, limited hardware can be considered a lot of things. From handheld devices, to previous generations of consoles, to not the beefiest of computers. This is why I had to change the title and the video cause it would take me just like 20 minutes to establish some guidelines on what defines limited hardware. Plus with how computers work these days, it's really hard to determine some of their limitations, especially considering overclocking, the fact that you can run older games, the fact that you have access to stuff like emulators, which allow you to enjoy games from even different platforms on them. It really limits the discussion potential of that type of video. Therefore, I am going to switch this up and see if I can create a discussion or make you think about the fact that you might be enjoying a game more because you realize you cannot run some of the new titles released these days or heck even some of the upcoming stuff and therefore let's see how this discussion video turns out. Not your professional walkthroughs channel presents. Okay so for example I can recall many occasions where I finished off the base game and after I accomplished this I started to try and look for other means of entertainment with that specific title. One of the earliest memories of such occasions was back in the 90s. Yes, I'm old. When I got Age of Empires 2. Until this day, I loved this game. And yes, this is probably the definite edition footage you are looking at, and I know it's not looking the best, but hey. This video is not about how much content can you create with a limited hardware, so buzz off and let me finish. When I finished the campaigns, uh, mostly using the good old cheats such as Robin Hood and the others cause well, I had no idea how to otherwise beat the game or how to create a proper economy or meet some other criteria. So I started to think of how can I entertain myself, uh, well, more. And so I started to use mostly the map editor. Biggest problem was that due to my limitations of English, and not having a translated copy of the game, I did not ever create anything really decent. So for example, effects where someone pops up from out of the screen, or someone says something, or some other stuff. Most of the maps relied around stuff like you can see today on YouTube, where the entire map is just covered with berry bushes and uh, you are trying to make your way to the other players to defeat them and such. So can you enjoy the games knowing you cannot try of like some of the new titles coming up? I really think so. This is especially valid point to make if a game has a great replay value or scalability in its difficulty. Certain games may offer forms of replay that you will be really hard to ignore. For example, think about the Fallout 1 and 2 or some of the older Elder Scrolls games. I recall when I went to see my friend after school and he showed me Morrowind on his computer and I was like, what the hell is Morrowind? And I did not even like the graphics back then, which is something that I still kind of feel about some of the newer Bethesda titles because they refuse to get a brand new engine for their games. So we have 16 times the detail. It allows us to have 16 times the detail. And I really feel like I should stop using the damn clip so much. 
But the matter of the fact is that especially in role playing games you had the possibility to try different builds for your characters and therefore the replay value of one game became that much better. Just think of the older Diablo titles where you had so many classes to choose from and just those classes would have been leveled up with different gear making them even better killing machines. But okay, those could have been the days gone by, back in the day where internet was not a common thing but more of a luxury. I mean, I had to keep begging my parents until I was like 15 for them to get internet for our home. Before that, I had to go to my mom's work on Fridays after school if my grades were good and sit in the corner of her office on her spare computer and play the online games using the flash player to which the support ends this December so I guess rip new grounds and all the other amazing websites I used to love visiting for the gaming experience. Yeah I know I'm getting off the topic so okay what about today? Well, to be perfectly honest, I think you will never run out of titles to enjoy and fully immerse yourself in just thanks to the indie developers. And here's the fun thing. I believe that many of them had some experience with those flash games on the internet as everyone has to start somewhere. Heck, even I tried my luck with the RPG Maker. Boy, did that last me two days, and after a cold shower and harsh reality check, I decided to just keep enjoying the games and leave the creative process to the smarter people. So yes, I think you can enjoy games more with limited hardware, mostly because if you are even a little tech savvy, you will know that trying to run Far Cry 2 on your old desktop computer, which almost blew up when I inserted the disc into the drive because all I wanted to see were those amazing brand new fire physics that they created for the game specifically and sure today spreading fire is a must in some of these open world games but back in the day damn i almost experienced ray tracing 16 years before it was launched with the 20 series of nvidia gpus and the resolution of 4k or almost 8k as i heard the side of my pc make a loud <laughs> Those were the good old days, when I did not know anything about computers. Which well, let's be honest, I can put a system together and all that jazz, but I'm not qualified to help you set up a server or some of these more advanced things. There are certainly channels on YouTube which you can enjoy when it comes to tech reviews and other content like this. But yeah, the reason why I say this is that if you love games and you find that one title you don't mind sticking to for years, you will manage to squeeze anything out of that game. If you try to do a variety of builds for in-game character, to changing your farm layout and start you valley, cause one farm is never enough, especially with the different farm layouts which you can have. Or heck, even in the PvP games of today, they are set up so they can run even on a potato. Plus I think I saw a variation of games to be ported to other consoles or mobile devices. Ooh, can you imagine playing Stardew Valley on my phone while I'm walking into the office? I think it would be much more difficult in comparison to Pokemon Go, but I guess challenge accepted.
Now, I think I will just probably keep Stardew Valley for the PC. So yeah, honestly, if you have a little time or more time during your day, if you are new to games or are a returning fan, I don't think you need to sell a kidney or a lung or one of the other organs which comes in pair to enjoy gaming, and I'm quite sure that with some imagination you can keep yourself entertained and heck, maybe even try your luck with some of the creative process, cause honestly, I keep getting inspirations for videos a lot, but I'm lacking the hardware to pull it off. At least now, so I would consider subscribing to the channel to when I will be finally able to build the PC in the near future of year 2023, which will be just awesome. But if you are considering subscribing to the channel, just know that I publish content on a weekly base for discussions, playthroughs, and walkthroughs, or whatever you call it when you watch a person play through a game, tips and tricks, early game reviews, and other stuff. But hey, I'm not done with the video. What do you think? This is gonna be all positive? Oh hell no! Now, if you are new to the channel, I would like to introduce you to a living definition of pessimist, or just what I like to call a realist. Each stick has to have two ends, and so I got to talk about the bad stuff with limited hardware and you trying to enjoy your favorite titles. Okay, so I won't go that harsh into this section in this discussion video, but what can be the possible negatives? Well, limited hardware might prevent you to experience the game in its full detail or fluidity. For example, what I have with my laptop is that if I would like to go and play, let's say, World of Warships, I cannot just boot up the laptop and start the game. If I would do that, Despite the laptop booting off an SSD and all the technical advances in the laptop itself thanks to its hardware, I have only 8 gigs of RAM and limited cooling, because apparently my cooling stand has decided to give up on me after only working for me for like 6 months. experiencing a lot of issues. The most often issue is that I select a chip and hop into a game and I wait for the laptop to render the map. Problem is that the match is already started and while my team is shooting left and right, I'm cursing behind the desk waiting for the match to load only to see shells flying towards my ship. So yeah, limitations in hardware can create negative experience for you which will draw you away from certain titles, despite the amazing content you can experience or the challenges that might await you. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's completely up to you and your personal patience and the hardware and especially passion to experience one of the most beautiful forms of media created until this day. And with that, I will finish off the discussion video. You see, not that harsh, but I would feel weird and probably a rash would pop up somewhere on my skin if I would not also discuss 
the negative side of you trying to enjoy some of your titles with limited hardware. So let me know what you think about this limitation and if despite that you can truly enjoy gaming especially in these harsh times. I will be more than happy to read about it in the comments and heck maybe we can recommend some stuff to one another in the comment section too in case someone is looking for some game or such. Thank you for watching, go check out the channel and if you managed to watch until this point and if you did that There must be something really wrong with you cause I just saw this cute video with puppies so I'm going to watch that while someone else takes over for me and finishes off this video. Thank you for watching and bye bye. But okay, those could have been the days gone by, back in the day, where internet was not a common thing. God damn it, why do I keep getting notifications for everything?